in North Louisiana, Grambling State University is affectionately known as God's country. And now we're joined by the head coach of Grambling State's men's team, Dante Jackson. When you went into the offseason, uh, I know dealing with COVID was one thing, but as far as retooling your team, what were you looking for and what were you able to add? Uh, what we looked for, uh, we wanted to, we lost a lot in the offseason, losing Devontae Jackson and Ivy Smith. That, that was a big loss for us. Uh, so we really wanted to try to make sure we brought in some size, some athleticism, and we wanted to try to get bigger at the guard position. Uh, I think that was one of the things that kind of hurt us uh, at times being sometimes small in the backcourt and tried to get better at that. Uh, when you look at this year's squad with all of the Zoom calls and uh, remote and distant learning, what have you learned so much so far about your team? Uh, I tell you one thing, uh, a lot of our guys are self-starters, are self-motivated, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, the Zoom calls was kind of great this summer. Uh, we had different people on the Zoom calls that interacted with our guys and tried to bring out a little bit more of some discussion with them, uh, some more dialogue, uh, some different things that was going on in society that we wanted to talk about and try to push the issue, even to the point that even when we wanted to talk about chemistry things uh, with some of the guys we had on that was NBA players to talk about being a star in your role and being an exceptional role and being able to be a person who can flourish in a role. And when you say that you brought in some NBA players, Grambling has a lot of legends, alumni. Uh, could you talk about some of the guys that you were able to bring in? Uh, we brought in, uh, so we brought in Kevon Looney uh, from the Golden State Warriors. We brought in Eric Pascal from the Golden State Warriors. We brought in, uh, uh, Alfred Payton, uh, who dad actually played at Grambling. Uh, so Alfred Payton came in and uh, did, uh, did, did, had a great, great, some great talking points for our guys. So super excited about that part. Then we actually did some uh, interviews with our guys to be able to interview on camera and with some, uh, some TV personalities and things of that nature. Uh, when you look at home and home court and defending home court, what do you think your team will have to do this year in order to improve upon uh, what you had last season? Uh, you know, I think last season we were 11-2 and two at home. Our two losses was uh, Prairie View and Texas Southern. Uh, and those two games, uh, we turned the ball over. So, uh, and that, that was pretty much the, that was the game, turned the ball over. Uh, I think what we have to do is make sure we uh, do a great job of defending, you know, rebound, uh, take care of the ball during our possessions on offense. And, you know, you let scoring take care of scoring. So whether scoring comes from this person, that person, we just got to let it take care of itself by playing great team basketball. Uh, what will be the keys to your team hoisting up that trophy in March at the SWAC tournament? Uh, chemistry, you know, chemistry. That's, I think that's one of the biggest things throughout everything, you know, being able to play for one another, being able to sacrifice for one another, being able to be able to, you know, compete at the highest moment and don't care who gets the credit. So uh, I, I think chemistry would be big for us. And then, you know, it's all the little things, man. You know, basketball is basketball. The team that rebounds the best, team that takes care of the ball, the teams that shoot the highest field goal percentage is usually going to be the team that win. So we want to be the uh, team that's doing all the little things to compete and win and hoist that trophy at the end of the year. Uh, let's talk about uh, off the court. A lot of things were going on in social justice. You said you had some Zoom with some professionals, some pre professional athletes and, and what have you. Uh, you're from Milwaukee. Yes. Milwaukee is home. They had a lot of issues that were happening in the state of Wisconsin. How did that affect you? How did you relay what you were feeling to your players and what did your players, how did your players react to you? Well, you know, we talked about it and, you know, sometimes, you know, I may even just, we have this little app called group me that we try to communicate through and, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, big on trying to make all these social justice statements, but I am big on letting my players know how I feel. You know what I mean? And I want them to know how I feel because I think it's important that we have that dialogue together as far as how you feel, how I feel about what's going on. And even with the fact everything that went uh, went on in Kenosha in Southeast Wisconsin, you know, that's 40 minutes from Milwaukee. So it's very close to home. And just being able to see those situations and grow up in situations just like that, you know, being able to voice, you know, my this, you know, satisfaction towards the situation and let our guys be able to talk about it because I, at the end of the day, you know, we raising young black men and it's, it's about the culture of them being aware of what's going on and what's going on in our society and them understanding that they have a voice to be able to voice their frustration. And the most important thing we've been trying to tell these dudes is the only way you change certain things is, you know, use your voice, use your platform and vote. It's the most important thing we got, voting. All right. Well, coach, thank you so very much. Good luck to you this season. Thank you. You have a blessed day.
Happy to be joined now by Cameron Christian, one of the G-Men student athletes trying to lead the Tigers to a SWAC title. All right. First of all, how have how has life changed on campus with all the COVID-19 restrictions? Uh, life's, um, life's changed on campus a lot. It's not as many people you see walking around campus. You know, you see you have your, your average people walking to the CAF. You see everybody walking to class, getting to be in class, getting able to study in person. Me personally, I'm a I'm a class guy. I got to be in the class, physical learner. So I mean, just the whole learning process has changed just from being out of the classroom. How was that for you to adjust? Since you say you got to be physically in a class, it takes a different level of, of locking in for you in order to get it done? Yes, oh, most definitely. It takes a different level. It takes a lot of discipline on cutting out time out of your day to sit down and actually get the work done. Because, you know, being in class, you have that that time in your day already cut out to where you're supposed to be going to in class. So maybe if you don't have a Zoom call, you may have to be disciplined and cut out a time of your day where you need to, hey, get this work done for this class and just make sure I'm on top of all my studies. Okay. Let's talk about this year's squad. What can we expect to see that was different than last year's from this year's Grambling State basketball team? Um, a difference from last year, I feel like we're gonna have a lot more, a lot more team ball. I feel like we're gonna um, our our main our main leading um, statistics probably gonna be assists. I feel like because this year we're we have a more together squad. Some of the new guys that are coming in are starting to buy in a little more. They're coming over the edge, and I feel like this year we're gonna have a real together team, and we'll be able to fit things together because everybody's already starting to gel off the court. So just um, just from seeing that happen, I just feel like that's going to be just one thing that um, that's going to be a little different from last year's team. Uh, do you ever go back and look at film and say, we didn't have chemistry this game, we had chemistry on this game, and how do players react to that when they when they can physically look at it on film and see that the chemistry wasn't there? I was actually in study hall today looking at film um, over uh, last season and just looking at, um, well, one, critiquing my body language because I know that's something I can control. But um, just from seeing that, um, just from seeing myself act that way, I know that this year I have to have a different attitude. I have to be more patient because, I mean, these are my brothers that I'm with. I can't have to kind of have that same attitude that I had last year. I hear you. Uh, off the court, they've had a lot of things going on as far as social justice. Uh, what is your feelings on social justice and what have you been doing in order to get yourself registered to vote or being vocal about things that you feel are wrong within society? Um, I've used my platform a lot in um, retweeting and just doing a lot of things and just bringing a lot of awareness to all the social things that are going on in America. I, me personally, I don't I'm not a fan of what's really going on. And I feel like that just stems just from a lot of just things in, um, in our past. And just with all the things going on, I just try to keep a level head being a black man. Um, there are a lot of things that are against us. So I just try to keep a level head and just be the best person I can be. Uh, do the Zoom calls bring a basketball team closer together? Yes, they do. Uh, it may it may be quite minute and quite small, but it's it's those little things that when we all get on together, it just shows that everybody's bought in, and I feel like that's what really brings the team together. I hear you. Uh, before I let you go, uh, what is the toughest place to play in the conference outside of Grambling, of course? Uh, toughest place to play for me. For me personally, I feel like it's, 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 it's Texas Southern, but just outside of them, I don't know, just that, that I don't know, just that atmosphere, that, that's just one place that I just, I don't know, I love playing there, but it's just, I just get a little extra juice when I get there. Oh, you're a little bit too overhyped. Overhyped, yeah. Get a little happy. I'm really excited going to TSU. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little happy. I hear you. Well, that's all we have. Thank you so very much, and Thanks, good luck sir. to you and your squad. I appreciate you.